Nestled along the shores of Lake Michigan, Manitowoc is a vibrant city located in the eastern part of Wisconsin. With its rich history, diverse culture, and picturesque landscapes, Manitowoc is a hidden gem waiting to be explored. Let's take a closer look at what makes Manitowoc, Wisconsin, a unique and fascinating destination. History and Heritage Manitowoc has a rich history dating back to its Native American roots with the Potawatomi tribe being the first inhabitants of the area. European settlers arrived in the early 19th century, and Manitowoc quickly grew into a bustling port city known for its maritime industry. In the 20th century, Manitowoc became a major shipbuilding center, and shipyards played a crucial role in building ships during World War II. One of Manitowoc's most famous landmarks is the SS Badger, a car ferry that has been in operation since 1953 and is designated as a National Historic Landmark. The Wisconsin Maritime Museum, located in Manitowoc, is also a must-visit for history enthusiasts, showcasing the city's maritime heritage and featuring exhibits on shipbuilding, naval history, and maritime culture. Culture and Arts Manitowoc has a vibrant arts and culture scene, with numerous galleries, theaters, and museums that showcase local talent and creativity. The Rare West Art Museum, housed in a historic mansion, features an impressive collection of paintings, sculptures, and decorative art from around the world. The Capitol Civic Center, a beautifully restored historic theater, hosts a wide range of performances, including live theater, concerts, and dance shows. The Manitowoc Symphony Orchestra, founded in 1946, is another cultural gem of the city, known for its high-quality performances and educational programs. Manitowoc is also home to several art galleries and studios that highlight the work of local artists, providing a vibrant arts community for residents and visitors to enjoy. Recreation and Outdoor Activities Manitowoc offers plenty of opportunities for outdoor recreation and leisure activities. The city boasts an extensive park system with over 20 parks offering a wide range of activities such as hiking, biking, fishing, and boating. Mariner's Trail, a scenic paved trail that runs along the Lake Michigan shoreline, is a popular spot for walking, jogging, and cycling while enjoying stunning lake views. Manitowoc is also home to the Lincoln Park Zoo, a free admission zoo that houses over 200 animals from around the world. The zoo offers educational programs and events for visitors of all ages making it a fun and educational destination for families. Local Cuisine and Dining Manitowoc is known for its diverse culinary scene, offering a wide range of dining options to suit every palate. From casual diners to upscale restaurants, Manitowoc has something for everyone. The city is famous for its seafood, with many restaurants serving fresh lake perch, walleye, and whitefish caught from Lake Michigan. In addition to seafood, Manitowoc has a thriving craft brewery scene, with several local breweries offering a variety of locally brewed beers. The city also hosts a farmer's market during the summer months, offering fresh produce, artisanal products, and local crafts. Before European settlers arrived, the land that is now Manitowoc was home to Native American tribes primarily the Potawatomi. They were part of the larger Algonquin-speaking tribes and made use of the rich resources provided by the lake and surrounding lands for hunting, fishing, and gathering. The Potawatomi had a strong cultural connection with the land and water, and their heritage can still be seen in the area's place names and landmarks today. Early Settlement and Growth In the early 19th century, European settlers began to arrive in the area, drawn by the potential for trade and commerce. The first permanent settler in Manitowoc was Joseph Villas, who arrived in 1835 and established the trading post. The village of Manitowoc was officially established in 1836, and it quickly grew into a bustling port city due to its strategic location on the western shore of Lake Michigan. The maritime industry played a significant role in the growth of Manitowoc. The city became an important shipping and trading hub, with ships transporting goods such as timber, grain, and limestone across the Great Lakes. The opening of the Manitowoc Ship Canal in 1871 further boosted the city's maritime trade, making it easier for ships to navigate the lake. Shipbuilding Boom In the 20th century, Manitowoc emerged as a major shipbuilding center 
particularly during World War II. The Manitowoc Shipbuilding Company, later known as Manitowoc Company Incorporated, became one of the leading shipbuilders in the United States, constructing a wide range of vessels, including freighters, tankers, and warships. During World War II, Manitowoc's shipyards were instrumental in building ships for the U.S. Navy, contributing significantly to the war effort. The shipbuilding boom brought economic prosperity to the city, with thousands of workers employed in the shipyards and related industries. Cultural Heritage Manitowoc has a rich cultural heritage that is evident in its architecture, landmarks, and traditions. The city is known for its historic homes and buildings including the iconic Manitowoc County Courthouse, which was built in 1906 and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The Rare West Art Museum, housed in a historic mansion, features an impressive collection of art and artifacts that highlight the city's cultural heritage. Manitowoc also has a strong German heritage, with many of its early settlers coming from Germany. This heritage is celebrated through events such as the annual German Fest which features German food, music, and traditions. The city also hosts other cultural events and festivals throughout the year, showcasing its diverse heritage and vibrant community. Harley Behrens is a comedian, writer, and actor who is known for his humorous take on Wisconsin culture and politics. Born and raised in Manitowoc, Behrens gained popularity with his online series The Manitowoc Minute where he delivers humorous news updates and commentary in his signature Wisconsin accent. Behrens has also performed as a stand-up comedian and has appeared on various television shows, including The Late Show with Stephen Colbert and Gonan. Henry Scoot Henry Scoot, born in Manitowoc in 1865, was a prominent businessman and politician. He served as the mayor of Manitowoc from 1904 to 1906 and went on to become a U.S. congressman representing Wisconsin's 2nd Congressional District from 1911 to 1919. Scoot was known for his advocacy for the maritime and shipbuilding industry, which played a significant role in Manitowoc's economy at the time. Kerry Frost Kerry Frost, born in Manitowoc in 1873, was a pioneering woman in the field of journalism. She became the first female editor of a daily newspaper in Wisconsin when she took over as editor of the Manitowoc Daily Herald in 1912. Frost was known for her strong editorial voice and progressive views on social issues, and she played a significant role in shaping public opinion in Manitowoc and beyond. Dave Steffen Dave Steffen is a renowned guitarist and musician who was born and raised in Manitowoc. He is best known as the lead guitarist for the rock band Bodines, which gained national recognition in the 1980s and 1990s. Steffen's soulful guitar playing and songwriting have earned him a reputation as one of Wisconsin's most accomplished musicians, and he has released several solo albums in addition to his work with Bo Deans. Arguably the most well-known and controversial incident associated with Manitowoc, Wisconsin, is the Stephen Avery case. In 1985, Avery was wrongly convicted of sexual assault and attempted murder and spent 18 years in prison before new DNA evidence exonerated him. However, just a few years after his release, Avery found himself at the center of another high-profile case, the murder of Teresa Halbach in 2005. Avery was subsequently convicted of the crime and remains in prison to this day. Although the case has been the subject of much debate and speculation, leading to widespread attention and media coverage. The SS Milwaukee Clipper Tragedy In September 1929, the SS Milwaukee Clipper, a passenger ship that operated on the Great Lakes, sank in Lake Michigan off the coast of Manitowoc during a violent storm. The ship, which was a popular mode of transportation for tourists and locals, sank with the loss of 52 lives, making it one of the deadliest maritime disasters in Wisconsin history. The tragic incident had a profound impact on the community, and the wreckage of the SS Milwaukee Clipper was not discovered until 1972, more than four decades after the tragedy. The Miracle on the Manitowoc River On September 5, 1964, a small plane carrying six passengers, including four members of the Cleveland Browns football team, crashed into the Manitowoc River near the Manitowoc County Airport. Miraculously, all six passengers survived the crash, 
and the incident came to be known as the miracle on the Manitowoc River. The crash and subsequent rescue efforts captivated the nation and garnered widespread media attention. It was a remarkable event that demonstrated the resilience and heroism of the people involved and left a lasting impression on the city and its residents. The fire at the Miro plant, in 2003, a massive fire broke out at the former Miro plant, a prominent manufacturing facility in Manitowoc that had been a major employer in the area for decades. The fire consumed the sprawling complex, causing extensive damage and resulting in the loss of hundreds of jobs. The fire was a devastating blow to the local economy and had a significant impact on the community as the Miro plant had been a pillar of Manitowoc's industrial history for many years. Manitowoc experiences four distinct seasons, with each season bringing its own weather patterns and characteristics. Winters in Manitowoc are typically cold and snowy, with average temperatures ranging from the mid-20s to mid-30s Fahrenheit, minus 4 to 1 degrees Celsius, during the coldest months of December through February. Lake effect snow is common, as the relatively warmer waters of Lake Michigan can enhance snowfall in the area. Heavy snowfall and freezing temperatures can occasionally impact travel and daily activities during the winter months. Spring in Manitowoc is a time of transition, with temperatures gradually warming up from March to May. Average temperatures range from the 30s to 50s Fahrenheit, 1 to 10 degrees Celsius, in March, rising to the 50s to 60s Fahrenheit, 10 to 15 degrees Celsius, in May, spring can be characterized by rain showers and occasional thunderstorms as the region starts to thaw from the winter months. Summers in Manitowoc are generally mild and pleasant, with average temperatures ranging from the 60s to 80s Fahrenheit, 15 to 30 degrees Celsius, from June to August. However, the proximity to Lake Michigan can result in cooler temperatures compared to inland areas, as lake breezes can keep temperatures cooler near the lake front. Thunderstorms can occur during the summer months, but severe weather is relatively rare in Manitowoc. Fall in Manitowoc is a time of changing foliage and cooler temperatures. Average temperatures range from the 50s to 60s Fahrenheit, 10 to 20 degrees Celsius, in September, gradually cooling down to the 30s to 40s Fahrenheit, 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, in November. Fall can be characterized by crisp, clear days with occasional rain showers, as the region prepares for the onset of winter. As a city with a rich maritime history, a visit to the Manitowoc Maritime Museum is a must. This museum showcases the area's shipbuilding legacy in maritime heritage with fascinating exhibits, interactive displays, and artifacts. Highlights include the USS Cobia, a World War II submarine that visitors can tour, and the Wisconsin Maritime Museum, which features model ships, shipwreck displays, and the lighthouse tower offering panoramic views of the lake. Manitowoc Breakwater Lighthouse Located at the entrance of the Manitowoc Harbor, the Breakwater Lighthouse is an iconic landmark that dates back to 1918. Visitors can take a leisurely stroll along the scenic breakwater and enjoy views of Lake Michigan while learning about the history of this historic lighthouse. West of the Lake Gardens If you're a nature enthusiast, the West of the Lake Gardens is a must-visit. This beautiful public garden spans over eight acres and features a stunning array of flowers, plants, and sculptures, making it a perfect spot for a leisurely stroll or a peaceful picnic. Rare West Art Museum Art lovers will enjoy a visit to the Rare West Art Museum, which houses a diverse collection of artwork, including paintings, sculptures, and decorative art. The museum also features rotating exhibitions and hosts art classes, workshops, and special events throughout the year. Manitowoc County Historical Society Immerse yourself in the local history of Manitowoc County by visiting the Manitowoc County Historical Society. This museum showcases the area's history through exhibits, artifacts, and interactive displays giving visitors a glimpse into the region's past and the lives of its early settlers. SS Badger Car Ferry Take a unique trip across Lake Michigan on the historic SS Badger Car Ferry, which connects Manitowoc to Ludington, Michigan. This ferry, which has been in operation since 1953, offers a scenic and nostalgic experience with onboard amenities like dining, shopping, and entertainment. Local cuisine 
Manitowoc has a thriving culinary scene with the variety of restaurants and eateries serving up delicious local cuisine, from fresh seafood to traditional Wisconsin fare. There's something for everyone to indulge in. Don't miss out on trying local favorites like cheese curds, bratwurst, and Friday fish fry, a Wisconsin tradition. Outdoor Recreation Manitowoc offers plenty of outdoor recreational opportunities, from parks and beaches along Lake Michigan to hiking and biking trails. Manitowoc Mariners Trail is a popular trail that runs along the lakefront and is perfect for walking, biking, or jogging. While Nishida Park offers a sandy beach, playgrounds, and picnic areas for family fun, events and festivals, Manitowoc hosts a variety of events and festivals throughout the year, including the Kites Over Lake Michigan, Manitowoc County Fair, and Subfest, a celebration of the city's maritime heritage. These events provide opportunities for entertainment, socializing, and experiencing the local culture. Two Rivers just a short drive from Manitowoc, the neighboring town of Two Rivers offers additional attractions. Manitowoc has a well-connected road network that consists of main streets, local roads, and highways. The major highways in Manitowoc are Interstate 43, I-43, and U.S. Route 10, U.S. 10, which pass through the city and connect it to other parts of Wisconsin. There are also several state highways, such as Wisconsin State Highway 42. WI-42, and Wisconsin State Highway 147, WI-147, that provide access to nearby towns and cities. Downtown Driving Manitowoc's downtown area is known for its historic buildings, charming shops, and restaurants. The streets in downtown Manitowoc are generally laid out in a grid pattern, with parallel parking available on most streets. It's important to be cautious and mindful of pedestrians as downtown areas tend to have higher foot traffic. Many downtown streets are one-way, so pay close attention to signage and follow the designated direction of traffic. Traffic and Parking Manitowoc is not known for heavy traffic, but like any other city, there may be some congestion during peak hours or special events. Be prepared for occasional traffic delays especially during morning and evening rush hours. Parking in Manitowoc is generally easy and convenient, with ample street parking and parking lots available throughout the city. However, be sure to observe all parking regulations, including time limits and designated parking areas, to avoid parking tickets or towing. Manitowoc has something to suit every palette and budget. Here's a guide to the hotels and restaurants in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Hotels Holiday in Manitowoc, this modern hotel offers comfortable rooms and suites with amenities such as free Wi-Fi, and and or pool, fitness center, and on-site dining options. Located close to downtown Manitowoc, it provides easy access to local attractions and restaurants. American Inn by Wyndham Manitowoc, this charming hotel offers cozy rooms with amenities such as a complimentary breakfast, indoor pool, hot tub and free Wi-Fi. It's conveniently located near Lake Michigan and the Mariner's Trail, a scenic waterfront path. Baymont by Wyndham Manitowoc Lakefront, this hotel boasts stunning views of Lake Michigan and offers spacious rooms with amenities like a complimentary breakfast, indoor pool, hot tub, and free Wi-Fi. It's within walking distance of the Manitowoc Marina and downtown area. Restaurants, Courthouse Pub, housed in a historic building, Courthouse Pub is known for its upscale dining experience and delicious farm-to-table cuisine. The menu features locally sourced ingredients and a variety of options, from steak and seafood to vegetarian dishes. Lonze's Tannery Club This family-owned restaurant is a Manitowoc institution, known for its classic Wisconsin supper club atmosphere and hearty menu. The menu includes favorites like prime rib, fish fry, and homemade desserts. Luigi's Italian Restaurant if you're in the mood for Italian cuisine, Luigi's is a popular choice in Manitowoc. They offer a range of classic Italian dishes, from pasta and pizza to seafood and steak, in a cozy and inviting setting. Fatso's Sub and Pizza Shop, for a casual and tasty meal. Fatso's is a local favorite. They serve up delicious subs, pizzas, and salads with fresh ingredients and generous portions. McKitt's Supper Club, another classic Wisconsin supper club. 
Mikits is known for its warm and welcoming atmosphere and traditional American fare. The menu includes steaks, seafood, and Friday fish fry, along with a variety of cocktails and drinks. Wrap it up, if you're in the mood for something quick and easy, Wrap It Up offers a range of delicious wraps, sandwiches, and salads, all made to order with fresh ingredients. Here is a song I wrote. Oh, Manitowoc, by the lake so grand, a charming city in Wisconsin's land, with shores of Lake Michigan, so wide and blue, there's so much beauty to see and do. Chorus, Manitowoc, Manitowoc, a place where memories are unlocked, from its history to its scenic view, Manitowoc. We sing for you. Verse 2, with maritime museums, so rich in lore, the SS Badger and its tales galore, and the Wisconsin Maritime Museum to explore. There's history and culture to uncover for sure. Chorus, Manitowoc, Manitowoc, a place where memories are unlocked, from its history to its scenic view. Manitowoc, we sing for you. Verse 3, the food scene in Manitowoc, oh so divine, from supper clubs to seafood. It's a culinary shrine, with restaurants and diners serving up delights, from burgers to brats and fish cooked just right. Chorus, Manitowoc, Manitowoc, a place where memories are unlocked, from its history to its scenic view. Manitowoc, we sing for you. Verse 4, the people of Manitowoc, friendly and kind, with warm hospitality that's hard to find, they welcome you with open arms, and show you the Midwest's friendly charms. Chorus, Manitowoc. Manitowoc, a place where memories are unlocked, from its history to its scenic view. Manitowoc, we sing for you. Bridge, so here's to Manitowoc, a gem so bright, a city with its own special light, with its lakeside beauty and friendly face, a destination that's worth the embrace. Chorus, Manitowoc, Manitowoc, a place where memories are unlocked, from its history to its scenic view. Manitowoc, we sing for you. So let's raise a toast to Manitowoc, Wisconsin, a place of charm, beauty, and tradition, a city with a rich history and warm embrace, a destination that's sure to leave a smile on your face.